Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In modern warfare, aircraft are the most valuable assets in strategic operations, such as attack, defense, surveillance, and logistical support. Different types of aircraft are used for different missions. One of the prime examples is the F-22 Raptor, which is fast and deadly and controls airspace. Bombers, like the B-2 Spirit, do long-range, high-impact missions by delivering devastating payloads to enemy targets. Transport aircraft, like the C-17 Globemaster III, deliver troops and supplies with rapid mobility across the theater of operations. Apart from these aircraft used for attack, defense, and surveillance, big aircraft are used for tanking purposes, like gunships. The strategic value of U.S. Air Force gunships, like the AC-130, cannot be overemphasized. These aircraft are powerful assets in providing close air support, air interdiction, and armed reconnaissance. And they enhance the U.S. military's capability in all types of combat. These systems date back to the Vietnam War, when entire transport aircraft were modified into gunships. They were first used during interdiction missions against enemy supply lines and direct air support to ground troops. A direct descendant of earlier gunship models like the AC-47 Spooky, the AC-130 is armed with cannons and precise guided munitions that can rain hellfire down on enemy forces from above. Its ability to loiter over targets for hours makes it the perfect platform for supporting ground operations and interdicting enemy movement. A gunship is designed with side-firing weapons and advanced sensors, navigation, and fire control systems to deliver precision strikes on ground targets. This is key in modern warfare, where delivering fire support with minimal collateral damage is paramount. The fact that the AC-130 has been used in multiple conflicts, even to interdict the Ho Chi Minh Trail in Vietnam, says a lot about its strategic value. As we get into the AC-130's role and capabilities, we must look at the specs that make these aircraft so effective. The AC-130 is known for its firepower, but also its design and capacity. These aircraft are crewed by seven people. Two pilots, two combat systems officers, and three special mission aviators. The size of the aircraft is massive, 98 feet long, with a 132-foot wingspan. This allows the gunship to carry a huge payload, and its four turboprop engines can get it to 362 knots and climb to 39,000 feet. Thank you. 
Depending on the model, the armament of the AC-130 can be different and represents a decades-long evolution in firepower. Previous models, notably the AC-130A, aka Trojan Horse, were armed with a mix of miniguns and Vulcan cannons to deliver severe saturation fire against ground targets. As technology progressed, newer versions armed with more powerful weapons, such as the 40mm Bofors cannon, and even the awesome 105mm howitzer, able to destroy any military position. The arsenal includes missiles like the Griffin, and bombs such as small diameter bombs, adding precision to shooting at targets on a battlefield. The AC-130 gunship is one of the most undefeated warplanes in history, thanks to its unmatched firepower, precision, and strategic deployment. With a powerful array of cannons, howitzers, and guided missiles, it has consistently dominated battlefields, from Vietnam to modern-day conflicts, providing crucial support to ground forces and ensuring air superiority in nearly every engagement. Building on modern armament capabilities, one of the most revolutionary systems is palletized missile launches from a cargo plane, i.e. the palletized Rapid Dragon missile system. It turns cargo planes like the C-130 and C-17 into missile wars without any structural modifications necessary. The key to this system depends on the supply of standardized pallets that can be loaded with long-range munitions, such as AGM-158B JASSM-ER cruise missiles. The missile pallets are designed to fit within the standard cargo space of these aircraft, making loading and transportation straightforward. These pallets contain multiple missile cells that secure the munitions during flight. The loading operations are similar to standard cargo procedures, allowing for rapid preparation and deployment. Once the aircraft is airborne and reaches the launch zone, the palletized munitions are ejected from the cargo hold. The launch process is unique. As the pallet exits the aircraft, parachutes are deployed to slow its descent. Once stabilized, the pallet releases the missiles in mid-air. These missiles then deploy their fins, ignite their engines, and proceed toward their targets. The system has undergone several successful tests, demonstrating its potential to add substantial strike capabilities to cargo planes, which were traditionally non-combat aircraft. This approach offers a flexible, scalable solution that leverages existing military assets transforming standard cargo planes into mobile, long-range missile launchers without compromising their primary transportation role. While the Rapid Dragon missile system offers a formidable capability for long-range bombing operations, identifying suitable targets in hostile areas is crucial. These locations are typically pinpointed through surveillance and reconnaissance missions conducted by military assets, like the MC-12 Liberty aircraft. The MC-12 is a highly advanced surveillance aircraft equipped to gather and relay real-time intelligence to ground forces. It features sophisticated sensors and cameras capable of monitoring large areas, 
making it an essential tool for identifying enemy positions and coordinating precise strikes. This integration of surveillance and strike capabilities ensures that operations like those conducted with the Rapid Dragon are both effective and efficient. In addition to understanding what the MC-12 does in operation, it's also important to dig into the characteristics of this aircraft. Based on the Beechcraft Super King Air 350, with twin turboprop engines turning four-blade propellers, the MC-12 Liberty was developed as a spy plane to support troops in Afghanistan. and is tasked mainly with reconnaissance duties, including high-end electro-optical and infrared sensors transmitting real-time full-motion video with signals intelligence collection. Two 1,050-horsepower Pratt & Whitney PT-6A 60A turboprop engines power the Aerostar, giving it an unabated cruise speed of up to 312 miles per hour. The MC-12 can fly missions at up to 35,000 feet above sea level, so it has the ability to cover a lot of territory while providing vital intelligence back to ground forces. Additionally, the MC-12W also carries a suite of communications equipment that relays near real-time imagery and telemetry for direct distribution to troops in contact with the enemy and battle staff and key leaders at all echelons. With a wingspan of 57 feet and a max takeoff weight of 16,500 pounds, the aircraft has sufficient range or endurance to conduct extended missions, staying airborne for up to eight hours. Equipped with a bevy of powerful engines, sophisticated cameras, and communications equipment, the MC-12 Liberty is instantly one of the most valuable recon assets in today's military landscape. Launching an MC-12 aircraft follows a detailed and highly technical pre-flight procedure. The process begins with an extensive check of all electronic warfare systems, navigation equipment, and onboard sensors to ensure functionality and mission readiness. Ground crew then carefully inspect fuel and oil levels, topping off as needed to meet mission requirements. Once cleared, the aircraft taxis to the runway, where its two Pratt & Whitney PT-6A 60A engines are powered up. Engine performance is monitored for stability, and when all systems are optimal, the aircraft is cleared for takeoff. While the Rapid Dragon system revolutionizes the process of conducting airstrikes from standard cargo aircraft, enabling quick and powerful long-range attacks, the MC-12 provides the essential intelligence and reconnaissance necessary to identify and confirm targets. Together, these technologies ensure that military forces can operate precisely and efficiently, maintaining a strategic advantage in complex and dynamic environments. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. 
See you next time.